the US has always tried to make the best fighters they can. Their goal in the Cold War was to always be ahead of the Soviet Union and always be in control in the air. They created a lot of fighters, but one of them is the best one, and that's the F-22 Raptor. This plane is a lot older than the F-35, the plane that a lot of people think is the most advanced. But that's not the case. F-22 is a fighter that the US doesn't sell to any other countries. Even the closest allies they won't sell to. In 1985, the Pentagon requests something, and they say we need a fighter that can't be detected in radars. They had fighters that would not be detected, but they wanted the best one they could possibly have. In 1986, the US chose two companies. One of them was Lockheed Martin and the other one was Northrop and they asked them to create a fighter to replace the F-15 and be way better. These two started working and four years later Lockheed Martin showed us the YF-22 and Northrop showed us the YF-23. And the Pentagon said, after running some tests, we're going to choose one of these. And that's when YF-22 beats the Northrop YF-23. And the thing was, it was better at not being detected and it was quicker. From the day the Pentagon gave the orders to the day they received it, it took 12 years. And the first YF-22 that was given to the army was in the year 1997. This plane is extremely quick and that is why when it gets up to speed, the body gets very hot. To fix that, 39% of the body is made from titanium. 24% is different forms of composite. And 15% of it is made from aluminum. Another thing Lockheed Martin did to this plane is that they laid an epoxy that they don't say what it is and it's top secret. And they believe if that epoxy does not exist, when this plane gets up to speed, it will burn up. So what engines does this thing have? The engines are made from Pratt & Whitney. Two F-119 PW-100s are on this plane. Pratt & Whitney says these two engines create 70,000 pounds of thrust. And it's good to know that the F-35 has 43,000 pounds of thrust. That is insane. It has near double the power of the F-35. The maximum speed of this beast is 2,414 kilometers an hour, and it could go as high as 65,000 feet. These two things cause this plane to be unstoppable in the air and it's made in a way that nobody's gonna catch up. It's one of the fastest planes while turning and it could go as high as 65,000 feet. The F-22 has a lot of unique features. Another thing is a flap that's in front of the engines that flaps up and down and it allows the plane to turn extremely quickly. And you could say it handles like a Formula One car. The things that other fighters can't do, the F-22 can.
even though the engines are extremely powerful and thirsty, but with one tank of fuel, it goes 2,900 kilometers. And that's very interesting. It could go far distances without needing a refuel. Without refueling, it could go from London to Moscow. The way the radars are connected to the F-22 allows it to see everywhere. And you could say it watches out for 400 kilometers around itself. Even though the F-22 is an extremely advanced fighter, the pilot has to be ready for it. Because the maneuvers this plane can do is a lot different from other fighters. And if the pilot of the plane is not ready for it, it could be dangerous. Every fighter jet has an ejection seat. It's on an F-22 as well. But the way this one works is a lot more intense. As you know, the ejection seat has rockets underneath it. And when it gets deployed, it shoots a rocket. And that allows it to not hit the plane itself. But the F-22 rocket has to be a lot more stronger because it moves at a faster speed. The F-22 can carry a lot. It could carry three missiles, and it also has a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan. It's an air-cooled machine gun, and it shoots 6,000 rounds a minute. This thing can carry six AIM-120 missiles and eight AIM-9Xs. AIM-120 is an air-to-ground missile, and AIM-9 is an air-to-air -air missile. You could also carry bombs instead of the missiles on this F-22, like two 1,000 pounds JDAM, or eight 250 pound GBU-39s. As you know, these bombs are extremely advanced, and the pilot or the control room can control them, and it's a system that works with the world's GPS. In an emergency, the F-22 can be a cargo plane and carry two and a half tons of weight, and it could dump it out with a parachute. With all this performance this plane has, is because money was spent on it. The US government has paid $150 million for each F-22 Raptor, and that's in a way that the F-35, which is way newer, costs less than a hundred million dollars. And another thing about the plane is that Lockheed Martin is responsible for maintaining the vehicle. And until the day they retire, they're responsible to keep it safe. And for this responsibility, each plane is gonna cost $334 million. And the US government has to pay Lockheed Martin for that. But that's not it. Each hour this thing flies is $65,000. And that includes the workers, the fuel, and other things. The US government has bought 195 F-22 Raptors and they have paid more than $67 billion for these things. At first, they wanted to sell these planes to other countries, but in 1997, Congress decided to never sell the F-22 to any foreign nation. You know what the reason for that is? It's that it's too good at not showing up on the radar. This technology allows the F-22 to show up 40,000 times smaller. So an F-22 will be the size of a mosquito. And this means that it will not show up on the radar. This is a very deadly plane as well. The F-22 successfully shot down 108 other fighters without getting damaged. And that is why they also call it the deadliest plane in the world. After 2011, the US stopped ordering F-22s and it's just 195 in their arsenal. A lot of people believe 
They're creating more of these, and they're probably going to show it soon. <laughs>